nos vamos a compartir. We'll see the Minnesota Lynx. A look now at the starting lineups for both teams. You look at the home team, and as we get rolling here, guys, any thoughts about this Lynx team? Here's Heideman. Pass to McBride. Fires for three. Clarendon grabs the miss. Here's Williams. And she finishes nicely on the layup. And controlling the glass is how both of these teams try to control the game. Yeah, and when you talk about controlling the game, Blake, you know, you talk about pace and the number of possessions in the game as well. Rebounding teams can kind of control that. Well, that's why you got to expect a physical, grinded out tone. Old school basketball is my favorite. Outside Williams. And Elizabeth Williams is going to pick up the foul. That is her first foul of the game. Way to get there first and absorb the contact. Yeah, clearly no flop there. That was a direct shot to the chest. Now Heidemann. Pass to McBride. And here's Juhas. They set the screen. Collier. It's hauled in by Smith. You just assume she's going to knock those down when she's as open as she was there. Clarendon. Good. First shot, first basket. What a plus it is to get those looks in the paint. Here's Heideman. About a minute and a half through the first quarter. They get a hand on it. It's stolen by Howard. Pass to Clarendon. High arcing oh, shot. And foul called as she misses. And she's going to shoot two free throws. It's going to be on Nafisa Collier. And first trip to the free throw line for her in this one. No good on that one. And she sinks the second. A little over a minute and a half into this first quarter. Pass to Shepard. Here's Juhas. She's guarded by Williams. Great positioning on the putback. Just so active on the boards. Collier with the effort points. They're almost a bonus point for this team. Mitchell outside. Here's Clarendon. Her second shot goes in. Off to a good start. Two for two. Very clever passing. She put that ball on a silver platter for her. To the inside. Shepard, good. And you got to give uh, credit to Collier for the find. Her 6'2 height allows her to have a clean view of the court. Doesn't miss open teammates. Outside Clarendon. Shot from 16. Williams, Clarendon, that's good. They're off and running. They've knocked down four of their first five. The Lynx trailing. McBride with the ball. And Williams picks her up defensively. The drive by Caitlin McBride. Collier. No good with the triple. Outside Howard. Pass to Clarendon. Stolen by Shepard. On the wing, Kayla McBride. Another one falls for Minnesota. The catalyst of the team, McBride is dependent on for buckets. And I'll tell you, she usually delivers. Now here's Williams. Here's Clarendon. That's in there. Tiffany Mitchell with the assist. Her mechanics have been impeccable this quarter, and if you don't believe me, just look at her numbers. She's perfect from the field. Shepard up top, covered by Smith. Pass to Shepard. Collier. Evens things up with that basket. Her second of four, shooting 50%. Inside, Collier can be so consistent. And her talents as a shooter make it look easy. Now here's Clarendon. She's got nine. 
A drive by Nafisa Collier. Releases. Hits the layup Nafisa after the sweet Collier. pump fake freezes the D. Three consecutive field goals have come right at the rim. The defense better start buckling down. They're getting exposed and punished down low. So it's both teams making substitutions here. There you go, fans. That is Here's Williams. Smith outside. Back to Williams. Shoots over Miller. Here's Smith. And she lays it straight in. A tenacious rebounder. Smith's able to do that because of her height and heart. Outside Miller. Pass to Juhas. Collier. Good on the shot. Fantastic pass. She made that a very easy bucket with the setup. Here's Smith. Shoots over Miller. Her aim is not true. That makes her one for two. Over Howard. Miller can't get it to go. Outside Howard. The kick out to Williams. Good, and the assist goes to Melissa Smith. And the lead goes right back over. What a seesaw battle we've got here. Absolutely. This game's right there for the taking, but neither team can grab it. Somebody's got to take charge. Let's see how it plays out. Only took them a few seconds to answer the three ball at uh, one end with their own. A three-point battle starting to take shape here. Now here's Williams. Shoots over Miller. Williams can't get it to go. Just one second between the shot clock and game clock. Outside Williams. Clock at six. And off target on the 15-footer. Gets it off. Got it up in time, but it couldn't fall for it. And a good game so far as we conclude the first quarter. Links ahead, up one. Let's take a quick break, and then it's on to the second quarter after this. jump out ahead as we begin the second quarter. And from what we've seen from the Lynx, what's your take so far? The work they've done to get in close offensively, the difference right now. And I like that they aren't settling for outside shots. Just keep attacking the rim. Very aggressive. Now here's Quigley. And here's Sutton. By post try. And a jumper ball score. Well, Quigley can strike from anywhere. She's got a great shot that opens the entire floor for her. The screen by Collier. Outside Williams. Shoots from the elbow. Count the basket. It uh, feels like the rest of the basketball has forgotten about the mid-range game, not Williams. She still uses this part of the court. Unloads. They grab their own miss. And she comes up with the deuce. And around a minute gone here in the second quarter. Collier outside. To the paint, Collier. That's her second shot and her second basket. My math says that's two for two. 
with fantastic touch around the rim. Collier automatic down low. And you love how Nafisa Collier has stepped up to become a real leader on the floor. I think we all expected it from the former Rookie of the Year, but it's nice to see her as a guiding voice on the floor, someone that other players can look to in the big moments. They're not rotating quickly enough on defense down low. They've got to provide more resistance inside. Smith outside. Pass to Sutton. Shoots over Williams. That one rolling around and rims out. The Lynx with the lead. Back to Collier. Another one falls for Minnesota. That's their third straight make off an assist, and it's always good when you can score points by getting teammates involved. Yeah, that's just great ball move. And here's Allie Quigley outside. And it's hauled in by Williams. Now the Lynx with it. Pass to Kone. It's Diamond Miller on the wing. The screen by Collier. Miller can't get it to go. Well, she's a player who, with a wide open look, will rarely miss. Here's Sutton. And it's Collier with the rebound. Terrific job defending the basket that time. It's not an easy task stopping her when she's headed to the rim. The basket is good. The assist from Diamond Miller. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic, and it's a big part of why they've been able to get good looks. Absolutely, the defense unable to react quickly enough to deal with their passer. Clarendon with it. She's got nine. And now about three minutes gone in the second quarter of basketball. Mitchell outside. Shoots over Williams. Mitchell shots good. Well, you pay so much attention to Smith. You can see why that's a huge plus for this team. It could open up things for others. Here's Heideman. Clarendon covering. Pass to Williams. Shepard. Shepard, the screen. Again, Minnesota. And coming down the stretch, we're really seeing the better teams pick it up here. Battling for playoff seedings. This is an exciting time. Yeah, and the not so good teams desperate just to have a chance to make the playoffs. And even against stiff interior defense, Howard stays committed. She never even thought about giving up on the play. Here's Heideman. Looking for her first basket still in this one. Back to Williams. Laid in with a nice touch on the glass. She always knows where her teammates are going to be, and she'll have that ball there waiting for them. Pass to Williams. Howard over Collier. Howard, that's good. I love Howard's decision-making offensively, especially off the catch right there. Time called here. The Lynx decide to talk it over. Heidemann. Pass to Williams. Juhas. Williams sets the screen. Here's Heidemann. The kick out to McBride. Here's the three. Cans it from downtown. Can score from anywhere on the court, and McBride has really taken on that alpha personality type. It's good. Well, I'm a big fan of the fact that she's getting the touches she needs here after not scoring a point in the first quarter. Left side, Williams. Juhas. A rebound by Ryan Howard. A drive by Nelissa Smith. Shepard pulls it in. On the wing, Courtney Williams. Seven points in the game. Smith outside. And Williams gets it to go. 
That's not an easy hoop. Good concentration by Williams uh, to get the, the bucket, a focused player. Here's Heideman, Clarendon covering. Ask him McBride. Juhas. There's the screen. Just five on the clock. And the Lynx miss again. Mitchell outside. Back to Smith. Outside Howard. Misses the three. McBride left side. Pass to Shepard. Shoots the three. Unable to get that one to go. And we're through the first half of play here in what's been a good one. Links ahead, up by four. And time now for the halftime break with the third quarter soon to follow on 2K Sports. The start of the second half getting underway. Both teams battling hard through the first two quarters. And you know, Collier has been really making it happen, guys. Her decision making, simply flawless today. Nothing but quality shots from her in the first half. She wasn't forcing anything. Yeah, but I think here in the second half, they may want her to be a little more assertive and start taking more shots, even the tough ones. Well, if this ball game comes down to the rebounding battle, they'll be the ones coming out on top. They've had a strong game on that front, without question. Here's Heidemann. She hasn't scored yet. That, I'm sure, will change. A quick thinker. Shepard didn't need much time to get the shot off. Pass to Williams. That's in there. Divney Mitchell with the assist. That assist got a little nod from her teammate after the bucket. The Lynx leading. Here's Heidemann. Let's the three fly. Another three for Minnesota. I saw a little confusion amongst the D as to who was supposed to be guarding her. It's Tiffany Mitchell on the wing. It's hauled in by the Lynx. And in each of her first two seasons, Nafisa Collier led the league in minutes played. Incredible. And she didn't just stack up minutes. Collier is the rare player that gives you all of the five major stats, the five major food groups. Points, boards, assists, steals, blocks. Collier, she gives you it all. Smith, she's guarded by Shepard. Three, Ryan Howard knocks down the three ball. Well, when Howard is knocking down threes, Ryan is unguardable. Down low, Shepard. The lead pass was put in just the right spot to produce the layup. Everything working for them out of the half as they've hit four of their first five tries. Pass to Mitchell. Over McBride. Mitchell, shot's good. Nice, smooth jumper by Mitchell from mid-range. She can attack from almost anywhere on the court. Here's Heidemann. And that's out of bounds. Minnesota will retain possession. Here's Collier. Got a rebound by Ryan Howard. Not quite two and a half minutes played here in the second half. 
from the yard. That's in. It's her fifth field goal. And she's shooting hot. 71%. Five for seven. Pass to Shepard. Collier. Nick Ride. She's covered by Mitchell. The basket by McBride. Well, this is the confidence that McBride has in herself. She understands how to carve through the defenses with her ball hands. Now we're three minutes into this third quarter of play. Outside Williams. Over McBride. And Williams gets it to go. As a big, sometimes your height is a huge help passing-wise. It allows players like Williams to get a clear view of open players. Here's Heideman. Pass to McBride. Let's it go from deep. It's hauled in by Williams. It's rare to see her come up empty on such a wide open look. Shot's good by Smith. It's all knotted up. An intimidating interior presence. Smith uses her toughness to get her way down low. Here's Heidemann. Off target from outside. You know, it's not being the best quarter for her as far as her scoring. We'll see if she can get back on track. For the lead. Williams gets it to go. Like she's on a pogo stick. Williams up for the board, down a moment, then up for the points. What energy! Two minutes remaining in the third. Two minutes. Time called here. The Lynx decide to talk it over. Well, the coaches, they clearly don't like what's going on there, and they want to talk things over. And why wouldn't they talk things over? I mean, really, you had to take a time out there and just try to take away some of the opponent's momentum. Right side, Williams. That's good, and it's Charlie Collier with the assist. A natural score, Williams has a bunch of dribble moves she can unleash. Pass to Smith. Now Williams. Howard. Now here's Williams. And the basket is good. When they've gone to her, she's come through. Keep getting her touches. Here's Heideman. And here's Williams. For three, Collier. Pass to Williams. From outside the arc. And it's Ryan Howard with the rebound. They had some botched coverage that turned into no coverage. And when she's open like that, you don't see her miss that sort of look very often. And here's Smith, covered by Collier. Smith, no good. Minnesota trailing. Inside. And that one's good, Collier. Always looking for holes in the defense. It's McBride's recognition that allows her to slice up any defensive scheme. Now here's Williams. He's got 14. Here's Mitchell. And the three off target. So the Lynx now. And now the Lynx fast break. And that one's good, Heidemann. I think they're trying to go for the kill here because they're starting to take a lot more three-point shots than they had been before. As long as you're getting quality looks, the coaches should have no complaints. Play with confidence. They continue to get it inside. The defense struggling to just contain them. And look, when you make five in a row from in tight like they have, it also just takes pressure off of your perimeter, guys. Great point. And that one misses. Well, Mitchell made the WNBA's all-rookie team after her first season, but I think she's going to do much bigger things in this league. 
And she's having a quarter converting at a high percentage. Oh, you're outside. Toots over Williams. Another one falls for Minnesota. And watch out. Once Collier finds her rhythm, she's lethal. Have to appreciate her aggressive attitude. And we wrap up the third, and it looks to be an exciting fourth. And we're just moments away from the start of quarter number four. Stay with us. 55. This was an easy choice tonight. Look at the precision on this pass. Put it on a platter for her. Yeah, she served her up some tasty room service right there, guys. Sweet dime. We've got a great game on our hands as we welcome you back. Fourth quarter action getting started. Diamond Miller for three. It's held in by Melissa Smith. Williams with it. Collier's there. To the middle. Smith. And Charlie Collier pulls it down. Down low. Kone gets the bucket. This is a great battle these teams are waging today. It really is. And I'm getting the sense that this game could end up being decided by just one or two plays down the stretch. So buckle up. Yeah, I certainly hope so. And the He's foul on Williams. That's her first foul. First personal foul, team's first. First team foul. Defense the links. The lead is two. Zowie B shot is off. Here's Minnesota. Right side, Williams. Miller with it. And Williams picks her up defensively. Nafisa Collier for three. The rebound by Zowie B. And these guys have had some good motion on offense. Nice assists. When everybody's involved offensively, it's in a way helping you defensively, too. Here's Williams. Yes, and it's Diamond Miller picking up that assist. Can't get much easier than that for Miller. She kept her head on a swivel and didn't overthink it. So both teams making some changes here. Fast as how we be. Here's Sutton. She's guarded by Williams. And here's Sutton. Nice D from Nafisa Collier. Out to Miller. Shoots a three. Hits the three-point bomb. Zero hesitation for Miller, showing loads of confidence in her jumper. Last quarter of play, about two minutes in now. Passed to Zawi B. Looking to end the run. So the whistle blows on the shot. Two free throws for the contact there. It's going to be on Charlie Collier. At the line for your and the first one falls for us. That's also good, so she hits them both. Here's Williams. Takes the three, and the links another three. 
very good possession. They've never lost their focus as this game has gone along. And now that we're moving deeper into the fourth, it's at the point where they add a few more points to the lead and they can put this one away for good. Absolutely. On the wing, Ryan Howard. Pass to Sutton. Six on the shot clock. Over Collier. No good from 18. He has slipped into a real funk here. Definitely. The basket is not looking very big to her at this point. It's Diamond Miller on the wing. Off target there. That would have pushed the lead to double digits. Not her best game, but they're getting it done collectively. Outside, Williams. To the paint. Here's Juhas. Terrific assist and a nice finish. Just a solid play all around. The correct decision from Courtney Williams. We've seen her assist numbers skyrocket since her rookie season back in 2017. Link's making a switch here. Trailing by 10. Outside Williams. Inside. Pass to Clarendon. Sinks the three-pointer. The deeper we get into this game, the more offense we're seeing. Yeah, both of these teams are firing on all cylinders right now. I love it. Here's Heidemann. Clarendon covering. Ball's knocked loose. Collier outside. Tried to come right back with the three of her own, but it's no good. Williams, she's guarded by Shepard. And Williams gets it to go. Never afraid of the moment with her height and skills. Williams wants the ball, a great option late. To the inside. Good work there as it goes. You have to have perfect timing to knock down the teardrop. Pass to Smith. Clarendon. The three-pointer is on target. Her stroke has been dead on. Inside, outside, wherever. The shots are falling for her. Clarendon covering. Here's Shepard. From deep. Clarendon grabs the miss. Here's Smith. That's in. Coming off an assist from Ryan Howard. That's some good awareness from Howard right there. She is excellent at getting the ball to her open teammates. Oh, you're outside. To the wing on the left. Here's Heidemann. Offline with the three. Smith, right side. The shot goes down, and it gets this game back to even. A player who can get creative offensively. Let's just say Smith knows what to do inside. Here's Collier. And that time, also missed the shot. Clarendon, covered by Collier. Pass to Mitchell. Clarendon. Three, Ryan Howard. Deedman grabs the miss. Here's Juhas. Guarded by Howard. And Elizabeth Williams is going to pick up the foul. That's foul number two for her. And these calls seem to be some of the, the toughest calls for officials to make. But in this case, I think she got it right. The defender still moving there and never really got set. Now a timeout called by Minnesota. Covering. Pass to Collier. Connects! How about that? 
Collier played in huge games, national championship games back in college. It prepared her for the professional pressure. Guys, what do you think? They can go for the three to win or two to tie. What's your choice in this situation? Well, Tim, I don't think you set that decision in stone in this timeout. You see how things play out, but you're looking for the best shot, no matter which it is. That's a good point. First good shot I'd take. Here's Clarendon. Howard, covered by Collier. Here's Clarendon. It's money from deep. That bucket was absolutely huge. A defensive stop can seal the deal. Now a timeout called by Minnesota. Yeah, what's your take, guys? No need to rush in. Still plenty of time for them to get off a good shot. You nailed it, Tim. And I'd say that whatever their favorite play is, now's the time to run it. Yeah, Brian, just, just run the play your team's most comfortable with coming back. Clarendon covering. Now Heidemann. Pass to Collier. To the middle. Juhas. It's in! Nice feed by the forward. Collier has a solid passing skills for a big, a real new age front court player who does it all. So it's a narrow victory for the Lynx, pulling it out for the W. And they break the hearts of every fan in the building with a dramatic late victory. This is a win they should take a ton of pride in. They battled with everything they had and came through when the pressure was at its highest. And that's a wrap, everyone.